Hi there! This video is going to be segmented into several different sections, so if you'd like to save some time, there are timestamps all throughout the timeline, the description of the video, and in the comment section. Enjoy! So what can you make with this AI-generated image platform? Well, you can create various forms of digital art media, use them for commercial purposes. In exchange, your prompts and uploads are used by OpenAI to improve their algorithm and services, but in my opinion, it's very worth it. I'll leave links to OpenAI's content policy and terms in the description in case you'd like to read them yourself. Now, why would you ever want to make anime images using an AI program? Dolly is pretty good at generating anime related media in general, since any media you generate you can use commercially. Good use cases can be fan art inspiration, a social media profile picture or background, website or mobile imagery, or designs for prints on posters, shirts, and stickers. So when you first get access to Dolly, you'll receive 50 free credits to spend on prompts. Each generation uses a prompt which uses one credit. The purpose of this video in its entirety is to prevent you from wasting those 50 free credits you receive because if you use all 50 free credits, then you'll have to end up paying for more. Let's get a general understanding of how Dolly works. Step one, you input some prompt that you'd like to get generated into images. Step two, you're done. Dolly has generated these images for you, very simple and straightforward. Now generally, Dolly can only output as much information as you input. Dolly can modify several aspects to a picture, so if you'd like more general tips for prompt generation, you can visit this community made guide for crafting original prompts. The link will be in the description. From here on out, I will only be discussing how to get good anime-esque generations, so if that doesn't interest you, then you can click off at this point. First comes good prompt structure. Generally, a good structure that has netted good results is an anime girl slash boy illustration with character feature descriptors type of shot and angle, various phrases and anime-esque keywords. For girl boy, this is pretty self-explanatory, character feature descriptors describes everything having to do with character's facial expression or pose, type of shot deals with the various distances from the camera the character can be, and the angle at which the point of view is. Now, various phrases and anime-esque keywords is what separates a good generation from a bad generation. I'll go ahead and go over a couple that I use and what their use cases might be. Any of the following phrases from this group A will give you images with an anime-esque style. Detailed anime key visual, Kyoto animation, top pixel, and trending art station. For each of these phrases, you need to keep in mind that you can use as many as you'd like per prompt. However, I've found that the most ideal is two per prompt. If you'd like to enhance your generations even more, then you can use these phrases from group B in combination with the prompts from group A to create sharper images. Official media, professional digital art, top digital art, 4K, and HD. Again, the most ideal is two per prompt from group A and group B. If you want an anime specific art style in your images, then in addition to the phrases from group A and group B, you'll need to use the phrase inspired by anime. So now I'll be showing good examples I've created with the prompt shown. If you're not interested, you can skip over this section. Dolly does a good job generating body features like arms, legs, torsos, stomachs, heads, hair, so it gets down body structure generally well, however the ability for it to generate hands, feet, and facial features, especially eyes, aren't up to par. So what can you do when these inevitably come out looking strange? Well there's one of two options, you can edit within the website using the Dolly 2 tool, or you can use third party software to make edits to your images. Let's talk about editing within Dolly first. So a quick disclaimer, editing in Dolly does use a credit for each generation, so be careful of how many times you use this. Editing within Dolly is oftentimes necessary when some facial features don't come out well generated or quite as smooth as you like them to be. To do this, you'll want to use the edit feature to erase the features that you want Dolly to remake and then re-enter the same prompt into the bar. This will generate a new variation of the image that will only generate within the area you had erased, thereby changing the previously made features. 
Now, personally, I don't edit the images that I generate, oftentimes because they come out well, but it's something you can do if there are small changes you can fix with third-party software and you don't want to spend a credit on Dolly. There are a lot of AI image enhancement programs out there that you can also use in the case that Photoshop may not be an option. And with all that said, you now have the information you need to create amazing digital anime art that would make any weeb happy. Thanks for watching.